Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chrissy and I'm the owner of Sugar and Spice Glitter Co. In today's tutorial, I am going to be showing you guys how I created this really, really pretty whimsical mermaid tumbler. So when I first created this tumbler, I had like a vision in my head of what I wanted it to be, what techniques I was going to be using on this. And one of the techniques that I used on was kind of like how to create the, the sea foam bubbly effect. Now I did want to share with you guys that this is not a new technique. I, I did not invent this technique. I have been seeing this technique around in the resin world for quite some time. If you go on to YouTube and look up um, how to create um, resin cells using UV resin, I'm sure a bunch of videos will pop up. Also the talented Susanna um has used this technique many many countless times i believe she's the owner of glamour tribe i will verify that and link her page down below as well um, i believe she is the tumblr artist that kind of brought this technique into the tumblr world however i did see this technique again in the resin world prior to Tumblr, but it is a technique that I've been wanting to try for a while and I wasn't sure how it was gonna play out or how it was gonna work out, but I'm really happy with how she turned out. And I know that we're in Christmas time and Christmas season and winter vibes, but I think mermaid <laughs> and ocean vibes is always something that is in style at all times so hopefully you guys love how she turned out and you're excited to see how i created this i can't even get her to focus because the light is so so bright but uh, she's just so so pretty i also wanted to kind of talk to you guys a little bit about my last few videos I know that there have been some quality issues some people have been having hard times seeing them hopefully this video with this video the issue is fixed however if you are having issues watching my videos on the computer or through the app then please try and watch it through the web browser of your phone that seems to be working the best if I wasn't able to fix the issue with this video Fingers crossed, I really hope that um, this video, we don't have any issues at all. But yeah, I'm going to stop talking now. So if you wanna see how I create this tumbler, then keep on watching. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're gonna get started with this tumbler by spray painting it. And the colors that I'm using is the Krylon Satin Island Splash, which is that blue one, the Rust-Oleum Candy Pink, and then also the Krylon Gloss Gumdrop, which is this really pretty lavender purple color. So what you wanna do is just start spray painting the base of your tumbler with random like bursts of spray paint all around the tumbler. I'm actually starting with this gloss gun drop and as you can see I'm just doing like short small bursts in random areas all over the tumbler this part is totally up to you there's no rhyme or reason as to why or where I'm applying my color I am just um, putting it on the tumbler where I want it and then I kind of like go back and forth between all the, the three different colors um, and you can use any colors you want for this in any way you choose. So once you are satisfied with how the base of your spray paint looks, you wanna let that fully dry. Go ahead and mix up some resin for your resin application. You can also do this with Mod Podge, but I do prefer to use resin instead. I'm going to apply Dream, with it, which is a really pretty opalescent glitter. And I'm gonna just sprinkle that evenly all around the entire tumbler. And I am going in with a pretty generous amount all around the entire tumbler. So with the opal glitters, they are translucent and you can see the colors underneath, which is why I chose to do this technique with this glitter color. Um, it's just so pretty. I love how it looks over all 
the colors on the tumbler and I think it just looks yeah really pretty <laughs> so once you apply that all over the tumbler you are going to want to allow time for your resin to cure so if you're using a regular resin then you want to let that cure for about six hours if you're using facet like I am then you can go in with your top layer of resin after two hours so here I am applying my top layer of resin over that glitter and I'm going in with facet again over the entire tumbler. You want to spread that nice and evenly all around and then let that cure. Once that top layer of resin is fully cured, now we're going to go ahead with the next step. And for this part, you're going to want to use some white pigment paste or any type of colorant. You can use um, just regular acrylic white paint if you wanted to. Um, we're also going to be using a UV resin and you will need a small little cup. So I just applied 5 ml of that UV resin in that little medicine cup. And you can see I'm going to be taking a small amount of our white resin pigment and I'm going to be mixing that in so you can see just how concentrated our resin pigments are um, once you mix that up I'm going to take the tip of my finger and just start applying that onto the tumbler so I'm going to create like a swirl with my finger um, I've done this before in past videos where I apply like the pigments with my finger I just feel like I have more control that way especially with using the UV resin. This technique is a little bit different than what you guys are used to seeing here on my channel. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are excited to kind of see what I did here today. And so what I'm doing is I'm just taking my finger, spreading out that UV resin with the pigment, okay? And I'm gonna just do that in two, par two places on the tumbler. So here um, in this one spot and then again, like halfway so you want to make it so it's like evenly on both sides um, and then again just spreading that around with my finger with my gloved finger So once you've applied your swirls and you're happy with how it looks, you want to move on to the next step. Next thing you want to do is grab that same bottle of UV resin that you use to apply um, this mixture. And what I'm doing now is I'm just squeezing little drops of clear UV resin into our pigmented swirl. And what this is doing is it's creating like those cells or like the sea foam bubbles kind of look. And I'm just going to apply them in random spots throughout the entire swirl. I'm going to do it on both sides of the swirl. So you can just see that I'm kind of applying the drops close together. As um, they spread out, they create this really cool effect. I just love how it looks. And yeah, that's pretty much what you do for both sides. Once you apply that on to both sides, you can go ahead and spin that to the next side. And then you do want to let that cure. So we're going to apply the UV lamp over the entire tumbler while it's spinning to cure that. So once I'm happy with how it looks, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply just more uh, lines of that UV resin and pigment mixture. You can see that I'm taking my popsicle stick and kind of just dragging it along the tumbler. Uh, once I've dra dragged it around, I also do go in and use my finger to kind of spread that out just a little bit. And then again, once I've done that, we're going to apply the UV lamp over to cure everything. Here you can see I'm just using my gloved finger again to kind of spread out that mixture and yeah, just using my finger to spread that all around till I like how it looks. Here you can see where I apply the UV light to cure the UV resin. Um, this UV light I purchased on Amazon. It was pretty cheap. It's just a regular nail UV light.
So I let the tumbler cure under the UV light for about 200 seconds, but that's going to vary depending on how strong your UV light is. But once that is cured, I went ahead and mixed up some regular artist resin by Counterculture. I mixed up 600 mLs here so that I can apply about 10 mLs all around the entire tumbler, maybe, maybe even 10 to, 10 to 12 mls all around um, once i did that i took a couple of medicine cups and separated uh, four cups with five mls of resin inside and we're going to be mixing some paint into this resin to help create some more marble effects over our sea foam so you can see here that i'm using a apple barrel baby blue um, acrylic paint I'm gonna take a little stir stick and just dip it inside of that paint and then mix that into my resin. So I'm not using a lot of paint at all, just literally dipping the stick inside of the bottle and then mixing that into the resin. second color I'm using is this Cameo Pink. Again, it's an apple barrel paint that I get from Walmart. Um, they're like about a dollar or so in the store. And yeah, their paint is pretty good. Um, so I'll go ahead and mix that into our second cup. Next color I'm going to be mixing up is this lilac and you can tell that the paint that I'm using for the marble swirl pretty much matches the spray paint that we use for the base of the tumbler. However, this part is up to you um, and you don't have to go in with so many colors. You can just use white or maybe one or two colors, but I decided to go in with all three to kind of match the color underneath the glitter. So yeah, just matching the base of the tumbler when we did the spray paint. I'm also going to take our golden marshmallow mica, which just happens to be my favorite mica that we have in the shop. Um, again, you can find all the details to everything that I'm mentioning down below in the description, but I just love, love, love this mica powder. It is so pretty, and you can see why it's called golden marshmallow, because it's just so golden-y and beautiful. Um, we're also going to be mixing up some more of that resin pigment. So I'm going to take just a small amount of that and that's going into the remaining resin that we had in our original cup. So once we have all the colors mixed up, I'm going to go ahead and get started by applying the white mixture first onto the tumbler. And I'm going to do this very lightly by dragging my popsicle stick onto the tumbler. So instead of stringing it onto the tumbler, I'm taking my popsicle stick and kind of dragging it through the resin. Do not worry about the resin being pushed to the side. Everything will even out at the end of the day. But this is going to kind of like ensure that wherever we put the color, it stays. I do not want to douse this tumbler with um, the mixtures all over. I don't want a lot of movement. I want the lines to kind of stay where I put them. So once I've applied just a couple of those white lines, I'm going in with the blue mixture now and again dragging my popsicle stick through the tumbler, being very, very intentional with where I put my lines. My tumbler to be like a flowy marble. Um, I really want my lines to be a to stay where I put them. So that's the reason why I do it this way. If you wanted more of a flow or if you wanted more movement with your lines, then you could definitely just string it along and also add a little bit of heat to kind of like spread that out. So you can see right now, I'm just being very intentional with the lines that I put down. Right now I'm moving on to the pink mixture. Again, kind of just going along and over that white and blue color that I put there. And I'm going in very, very light with these colors. I'm not trying to cover up the glitter underneath. I still want the glitter to kind of like peek through while still adding these colors as an accent. 
So now I'm going to go in with the purple, again doing the same exact thing, dragging my popsicle stick through the resin, and yeah, you can see I'm just doing that same exact technique. So I won't be using my fingers to spread out any of these lines, I'm going to leave them where I put them down. Um, so yeah, I won't be spreading them out with my finger either. Like I said before, very intentional with where I'm putting all my pigment down. All right, so now we're gonna go in with that golden marshmallow. Oh, my favorite. You can see just how pretty this mixture is. And I'm not going in with a lot because I don't want it to take over, but I am just doing very thin lines of this mica through that same swirl pattern that I'm creating with the other colors. So I'm just dragging that mica mixture just through some of those lines just to add a little bit more sparkle and kind of take it out to the next level. So you can see just how pretty that golden shift is. And yeah, I just love this color so much. So that's pretty much it for this part. You can go in like if you want and add more colors in between. But once you're done applying all your pigment mixtures, you can go ahead, just let that cure. Then we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next step, which is applying the vinyl design. I'm cutting out the vinyl design with my Cricut Maker. Decided to use this really pretty opal vinyl from Arteza and also along with their white vinyl. Um, and you can find the links to the vinyl that I use down below as well with a discount code. Um, so yeah, I'm cutting out my vinyl design. Decided to go in with a mermaid design just because I got so many mermaid <laughs> vibes from this tumbler. The mermaid silhouette with the outline, I actually downloaded that from Cricut Design Space. I'm not sure if it's available um, to you if you don't have Cricut access. I do pay extra for Cricut access, so take that into consideration when looking through their images. I'm also using an SVG um, quote from Bear Trends on Etsy. Her shop will be listed down below as well. So I decided to combine both of these images together to create the design for this tumbler. So you want to go ahead and weed out all your images before applying them onto the tumbler, or if you want to, uh, you know, weed them onto the tumbler. If you have small little like letters and stuff like that, you can definitely do that as well. I showed you how I did that in one of my previous um, tutorials, so I'll link that one here so you can see. How it's done if you wanted to um, weed onto the tumbler anyways <laughs> uh, once you're ready you have your images all weeded out I'm gonna go ahead and apply the transfer sheet onto the image peel it up and apply it onto the tumbler so I wanted to kind of lay my mermaid down along where uh, the swirl like going along the swirl so once you lay down your image, you want to rub from the center out. Um, and I start from the bottom up and rub from the center out and then just peel up my transfer sheet very carefully, usually in an angle and very close to the image to not create any bubbles underneath. Once I applied the mermaid silhouette, now I'm going to apply the uh, outline which is with the opal vinyl. You wanna make sure you line that up, take your time, there's a no rush. Once you get that lined up, just go ahead and smooth that out in the same direction you smoothed out your silhouette. Just taking my time smoothing it out and working my way up towards the hair on the top to make sure that everything is lined up really nicely. 
Once I have my mermaid down, you want to peel up that transfer sheet again, and now we're going to apply our uh, quote. Apply your vinyl design, smooth it out, make sure it's on really well, peel up your transfer sheet, and then you're ready to go. I do like to hit my vinyl with a little bit of heat after I've applied it just to get that vinyl to activate on there. Also, you may want to wait about 20 to 30 minutes before going in with your resin just to allow that vinyl to really start to adhere to the cup. I feel like it kind of helps um, avoid the vinyl from lifting up underneath the resin like sometimes the resin will go underneath the vinyl and pull it up if you're having issues with that then my advice is to wait a little while before applying your resin so I'm going in with the artist resin by counterculture DIY again the link to their uh, website will be listed down below I am going in with a pretty generous amount to make sure that I get really good coverage over that vinyl design if you need to go in with a second layer of resin, you definitely could, but if you put a thick enough layer over, you may not need to. So I'm gonna hit that with my heat gun, pop any bubbles that may be coming up, and just let that baby cure. I just have to say that I am so happy with how she turned out. I had a vision in my head and I made it come to life, and I'm just so excited to share this tutorial with you guys today. Thank you guys so much again for watching and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it. Also, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you can be alerted every time we upload a brand new video. Thank you guys so much again for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.